Okay, so this video right here is probably going to piss a lot of people off, but guess what? Don't care, don't care, don't care, still don't care, I don't care, I don't I really don't care because I got these voices in my head that won't let me rest until I do what I do, which is getting into my bag. In today's video, what I'll be doing is diving deep into the Warriors' future. Now, the last time I talked about the Golden State Warriors, it was titled The Master Plan That They Tried To Keep Secret That Really Wasn't A Secret, it was for, you know, clickbait purpose. And that very thumbnail right there was James Wiseman's outline, and of course his college stats as well. Fast forward a year and a half later, of course James Wiseman is a Warrior, but his season is sadly coming to an end. And so many Warriors fans have mixed feelings about the product that he is and that sellers believe he could be one day. Their future and present is determined by James Wiseman, how good he's going to be, or whether or not they decide to go ahead and ship him off. Truthfully speaking, James Wiseman is walking into the most unfair position as a rookie, I've seen in a very, very long time. He hasn't played professional basketball in over 400 some days since his last college game. He was overhyped and crowned way too early as a unicorn by these others, which just put a bunch of unwanted pressure on his broad shoulders. And Wiseman is by far the biggest question, and outside of Steve Kerr, by far the most criticized person on the Golden State Warriors. And the thing about a lot of NBA fans is that 90% of them lack patience, and especially the Warriors since they're on a time crunch. Steph Curry, the guy they watch grow and blossom into what he is right now, is 33 years old. He will be of the age of 34 once next season ends. That's scary to say, and it's even scarier to think that this 20 year old dude a lot of sway as to how things go. Curry and the wild, wild run he's been on has put a lot of people on notice and has sent a shock wave of awareness. His run has people over here remembering just how dominant he was back in 2016. A lot of people these days, B-Ball Breakdown was calling him the most skilled offensive player ever. Point blank period. Rowan Schroeder was saying that Steph Curry was a top 10 player of all time during this run and I definitely agree with that. He's just simply been on another level. God tier if you ask me. This really, really sucks to say though that he's been on a god tier level with a peasant tier team. Bro, I usually do not like to use numbers because sometimes they don't tell the entire story. You need context. But for this story right here, this Steph Curry and the 2020-2021 Golden State Warriors, it tells the whole story. They are a historically bad offensive team once Curry is off of the floor. That is just unacceptable right there. You have a once in a lifetime type of player on your hands and a bunch of 69 overall players except for Draymond Green and Jordan Poole because he's nice. Surrounding Curry, like bro, you just cannot do that. Now, of course, we all know this, if Klay Thompson was healthy, then the Warriors would not be this bad with Steph Curry on the quarter off. But Klay Thompson at this point in time is a huge question mark because this man has had back to back catastrophic injuries happen to him. So who knows just how good Clay will be once he comes back. I doubt he falls off of a cliff cause like he has literally never ever in history known to be a player who thrives off of his athleticism or be light on his feet or anything like that. Like bro, Clay's athleticism is at 50. That's what his attribute is capped out as bro. He has little to none. He's never even had too much to begin with. So when Clay comes back and if Curry's still doing his thing and Dre is doing his thing too, then this is easily a top three to four seeded team in the Western Conference, but it could be a championship favorite with a few moves made. And the very first move that needs to be made, I'm sorry to say it bro, but it's James Wiseman. The amount of luck that the Warriors have when it comes to drafting such a cohesive unit all around the same, just about the same time, is preposterous. Star players are usually signed and traded for on a consistent basis. Homegrown organic stuff does not happen. And these homegrown talents that they have are getting very old. Like I said bro, at the end of next season, Curry's going to be 34 years old. And I definitely don't want to see it, and I'm sure a lot of people too does not want to see James Wiseman's making silly sophomore 
second year mistake still and still learning. There is no time for that. The Warriors are on a run. Now, I'm not saying that James Wiseman is bad by any means. No, he's just put in a really unfair situation right now. There's way too many eyes on him right now. And I think it'll even do him some good personally if he was moved to a situation somewhere in the shadows doing his thing and working. James Wiseman is the most appealing trade piece that they have on their team right now. And he's a trade piece with a lot of potential. It's like very first or second game against the Brooklyn Nets, he put up like 19 points and was doing pretty unicornish like things, but the Warriors don't allow him to do that ever so often. So no matter how bad of a picture people try to paint of James Wiseman in your head, he still has easily undeniable potential. Now yes, does he have butterfingers sometimes? Does he have grabbing rebounds sometimes? Yes, of course. All those things though are very fixable. And what needs to be talked about when it comes to Wiseman is the things that he can do at an extremely high level. That's just be a top tier athlete, a top tier seven footer. The only thing with Wiseman though is that he's not gonna be able to do this unicorn type stuff in Golden State because because Steph Curry is on their team. Something that nearly slipped my mind is that D'Angelo Russell and Wiggins trade. In that trade, the Warriors got a protected top four pick from the Minnesota Timberwolves, meaning that if the Timberwolves don't get pick number one, two, three, or four in the 2021 NBA draft, it's the Warriors. And the Timberwolves have been playing rather inspiring basketball over these last few days. And it's looking like right now as we speak that the Warriors may go ahead and get a top five pick because of that trade. The Warriors fans, honestly, honest to God, man, or whatever you believe in, do the Warriors actually want another rookie, another 19, 20 year old playing alongside a 34 year old Steph Curry? Why wouldn't the Warriors play for now and bet on themselves and trade away Wiseman, that fourth pick if it sways their way and Wiggins and whatever else it takes to maximize one of the GOATs opportunity to win another ring. This is the truth, no matter how much you like it and you're a fan of Wiseman, he will never ever give you a chance to win a ring like Curry can. The only thing Wiseman may provide in the future is stability and not being a garbage team in the next four to six years. But bro, who cares about the next four to six years right now when you have an offensive god on your team? You could make memories right now rather than dreaming about the potential what ifs and the potential win-win situation of winning a ring while you have Wiseman and Curry on your team rather than and also possibly being an okay team with Wiseman later on down the road. Why gamble that? Off of the dome, another center in the NBA right now who the Warriors could easily get if they really wanted to is Miles Turner. Y'all already know what Miles Turner is about. He is the best shot blocking big in the NBA and he's also one of the better three point shooting bigs as well too. His game is very simple. He's such an intimidating presence and he knows how to play his role. He's a Warriors type of center. So Warriors fans, go go ahead and let Wiseman be free. Leap like a gazelle through these grasses. Like go, do your thing. While Curry goes ahead and tries to cement himself as a serious top 10 potential in NBA history if a lot of people don't think that he is already. The Warriors have some star power. They have the assets, they just don't have a lot of time. And what they need to do is trade off that time for some more star power with any player who seems like a great fit on this roster who can take them to that next level. I just explained to you why the Warriors need to trade James Wiseman right now. This is the end of the video though, man. I really, really do appreciate you for coming over here on my channel and seeing what I have to talk about today. That is, once again, extremely dope of you to do. So go ahead, if you're new, subscribe to this channel. I forgot to say that towards the very beginning of this video. Good grief. But anyways, yeah, subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow me on Instagram and also my new TikTok page. And uh, yeah, outside of that, I'll get right with you. Make your day great. No way, no way, no way. Yeah. Me back when I couldn't get a play. Yeah. No hope, I ain't have a place to stay. Yeah. I got the work, made it serve, free the way. Yeah. Told my girl who'd have a thought.